In this video, I'll show you exactly how to get your website on the first page of Google search results step by step. I've used this method to make several websites appear at the top for lots of different search terms. So this method works. Now let's talk about the steps you need to take. But don't worry, I'm not going to give you the same old advice you've heard a million times before, like make good content or use the right keywords. While those things are important, they're not enough to rank highly for really tough search terms. So what's the secret? Well, it's not what you might think. It's the specific things I'm going to tell you about right now. Let's start with step one, finding five important keywords. So you've probably heard that SEO is all about using the right keywords. It's about getting your website to show up when people search for terms related to your business. There are plenty of ways to find these keywords, but one of the easiest and most effective methods is using Google's autocomplete feature. Here's how it works. You start typing a keyword into Google, and it suggests related terms. These suggestions are valuable for a couple of reasons. First, they're usually trending topics, meaning lots of people are searching for them right now. That means if you use one of these keywords, you could get a head start and benefit from the increased traffic. Second, they're usually what we call long tail keywords, which are more specific and less competitive than broader terms. A common mistake SEO beginners make is targeting highly competitive keywords, usually the ones that seem obvious. For example, if you have a cooking equipment brand, you might think cooking equipment is a perfect keyword. But in reality, it's incredibly competitive, with big brands vying for the top spot. Instead, you want longer, more specific variations like easy to clean outdoor cooking equipment. These are easier to rank for, especially if your website is new. Once you've used Google Autocomplete, scroll down to the bottom of the search results to the related searches section. Here, Google suggests more keywords related to your initial search. It's like brainstorming within Google itself. By now, you should have found at least five keywords that fit your business well and aren't too competitive. Now, let's talk about creating awesome content around those keywords, our next step. In the past, making amazing content usually meant writing huge guides with tons of information. But today, what really matters is understanding what people are looking for when they search. We call this search intent. It's about knowing why someone is searching for something. They might be looking for information, wanting to buy something, or just browsing around. Let's take an example. Best organic dog food. People searching for this are probably not ready to buy right away. They're probably comparing different options. So if you create a page that compares different dog foods objectively, listing their good and bad points, it's likely to do well. But if your page only tries to sell one brand without giving useful information, it might not do as well. Now think about a search like buy dog food online. Here, people are ready to make a purchase. So you could optimize a page on your website to rank for this keyword, even if it doesn't have a lot of content. Your content also needs to stand out. There are already lots of search results for most keywords, so yours needs to offer something different or better, but being unique isn't enough. Your content needs to satisfy what people are looking for. Google checks if people like your page or not. If they do, it'll move up in the search results. But if it doesn't meet what people want, Google might lower its ranking. Once your content is ready, the next step is to make sure it's set up well for search engines. In the past, SEO used to be quite complicated. You had to stuff your content with keywords, put them in certain headings, and do all sorts of technical stuff. But nowadays, it's much simpler. You don't need to stress too much about on-page SEO anymore because it's straightforward. Instead, you should focus on creating excellent content that meets what people are searching for. Just focus on creating or hiring people who create the best content possible. You want your pages to be exactly what someone is looking for when they land on them. As for on-page SEO, it's pretty basic. You just need to have your keyword in the title, near the beginning of your content, and a few times throughout the page to show Google what it's about. Now, once your content is written and optimized, the next step is to make sure it offers a good user experience. Google used to care a lot about things like backlinks and keyword density, but now it's more focused on how happy users are with the content. But it's not just about meeting search intent. You also need to make sure users can find what they need quickly. That's user experience. Google can track how people interact with your site, if they quickly leave after landing on it from Google, that's a bad sign, and Google might lower your rankings. 
But if people stick around and spend time on your site after searching for a keyword, that's a good sign, and Google will likely boost your rankings as a result. Now, let's talk about optimizing your content for user experience. The first thing you want to do is provide value right from the start. Don't bury the good stuff deep in your content. Bring it up front where people can see it right away. You want to make it easy for them to find what they're looking for without having to search through a bunch of text. Instead of starting with a long introduction, dive straight into the meat of your article. If you do use intros, keep them short. The main goal is to confirm to readers that they've landed on the right page and provide value within seconds. Next, pay attention to how your content is laid out and designed. You want to make it easy to read. Remember, online content that's hard to read often gets ignored. So if your font is tiny, or your paragraphs are too long, or everything looks crammed together, people might not bother reading it, no matter how good the content is. For a great example of well-designed content, check out Healthline.com. They're known for their clear, easy-to-read font, simple layout, and plenty of subheadings that break up the content and make it easier to skim. Lastly, let's talk about building backlinks. Backlinks are still important for SEO. Google uses them to gauge the credibility and authority of a website. They want to show users results from trustworthy sources at the top of the search results, and backlinks help them determine which sites fit that criteria. There are many ways to build backlinks, like broken link building or guest posting, but for beginners, I want to introduce you to a strategy called Be the Source. This strategy is particularly effective for new websites with little authority. Here's how it works. You become the go-to place for a specific statistic or piece of information in your industry. Let me break it down into steps you can start with right away. First, find a statistic in your field that's often searched for but hard to find. Now, you might wonder, if my site is new and lacks authority, why would Google rank my content and why would others link to me? It's a fair question. That's why you should target very specific stats that are hard to find elsewhere. These keywords are often low in competition, so you can rank for them even without much authority. Alright, let's break down the main points from this video so you can start improving your Google ranking right away. First, go after less competitive specific keywords that are currently trending but not super popular yet. These are your best shots at getting noticed. Next, when you create content, make sure that it's both good quality and directly addressing what people are actually looking for when they search online. Third, remember to sprinkle your chosen keyword a few times throughout your content. This helps Google understand what your page is about. Fourth, make sure your website is easy to use. Visitors should find what they're looking for quickly and easily. And don't forget about getting other websites to link to yours. One way to do this is by providing unique statistics or information in your field. I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, I'd really appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.